In these beer videos I like to think you can generally tell what kind of day I've had based on how scruffy and unkempt I look. Uh, I've got three kids under three years old, they're all sick. Um, one's just finally fallen asleep after screaming non-stop for hours. I guess he's got some kind of ear infection, he's on antibiotics, he's feeling crappy. Uh, my wife and I also feel crappy, we've both got colds. This house is a nightmare, it's been like it for days. So uh, that explains why my hair looks like I've just been dragged out of bed and beaten up. So what better time to review Labatt Porter. This is a, a beer which is not generally available. Uh, it's becoming more widespread. Uh, Labatt's better known for producing thin, cheap, questionable quality beers, let's say that. Um, like Labatt Blue, which is the sort of thing you get for five bucks a pitcher in those cheap bars um, and happy hour. So for them to have a porter is kind of a, a bit of departure. It's kind of like um, I was going to say Porsche producing an SUV, but they already have idiots. Um, it's it's a bit out of character. Let's put it that way. Um, <clears throat> it used to be only available in, in very uh, select locations um, at random, apparently. But I got this one in our local supermarket, so I guess it's becoming more widespread. Um, as you expect from a porter, it looks dark. Black, in fact, not too much head, kind of thin, like a thin, very thin stout. It smells very sweet for a porter. It's not that usual burnt coffee or chocolate aroma you sometimes get, often get with porters. So, e. Hmm. I guess that's the Labatt Blue of Porters. It's it's um initially very promising. The front of the taste is kind of nicely bitter with um ooh, you need to capture that taste before it changes. Um multi, I would say, multi. Not the usual amount of burned sensation you get with a porter. So it feels like it feels like you're missing something in the front end but then the back end comes in and it tastes sweet. It tastes really sweet. Like uh not in a good way. Just when you're expecting that sort of mouth drying sensation you get from most porters where it gets crisp and, and nice at the end. It's this one is It's odd, it's like someone poured a coke into a beer and and served the results as a porter. That's a shame, because like I said, the beginning of the taste is really good. The end is a little bit suspicious, like um like they don't really know what they're doing when they produce this beer. What do I know? Maybe you'll love this. I don't know. I think if you don't like bitter beer and you've always wanted to try, try a porter and you don't like the fact that most porters taste like coffee all the time, this is probably for you. Otherwise, I'd avoid it. I like the plague. But I still gotta finish this. It's been that kind of day. I need to drink something.